Chavalote, night of my life, my boy, my champ. Last day in Bosnia today. A country, wow, what a country. And what a day, sunny, spectacular. Did you realize that every time, how many times I see, no, how many times I say in every video, beautiful day, beautiful day. This is because I'm happy and when you are happy, holy mother. <laughs> Look at this, cows in a, ah, well, I cannot show you now. Oh, okay, well, let's see. Oh, no stress. Yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> there we go. Hello, ladies. Let me pass. Let me pass. Thank you, Shun. Thank you. How to be the scene. So. Oh yeah, oh this guy got tired of waiting for me. I'm enjoying the road my friend, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'm happy and when you are happy, everything is beautiful. Sunshine, if it's cloudy, you enjoy it. Anyway, last day today in Bosnia. I'm going now to the border with Montenegro, 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 <laughs> Montenegro. And uh, let's see how it goes with the border crossing. You know that I have my Cuban passport, which is not as strong as yours. This is cute. This is crazy. You have you have done nothing in this life. Nothing. <laughs> you are just 10 years old Spaniard citizen. But incredible, though you worth more than me. Yeah, powerful. Your your passport is super powerful. You can go to the countries that you want. Anyway, anyway, today our last day in Bosnia. It was spectacular, full of full of adventures. Well, that's why I stayed more than any country so far. Uh, so now to Montenegro, which is promising, and I think it's going to be very nice. I just need to survive this road, which is like a Frankenstein mixture of paved roads with gravel with you know if I end up with my neck in good condition this is gonna be a miracle so here we go happiness <laughs> let's see when I when I reach the border if I'm still that happy because if everything goes good I will celebrate if not if not as it was the case we'll have to return to the nearest hospital and make a COVID test. COVID test done. Well, I, I need to wait for the results now in 30 minutes. And I need to go for the next building and ask for Blagaina, <laughs> whatever that is. I think it's just to pay the, the test. Look how interesting is this. I think this is uh, candidates for election. This is just what I think, I don't know. I mean, this is a university hospital. But look how interesting. In front of every candidate, the religion. Ay, ay, ay. I have my COVID test as my shield. <laughs> Let's see what they will tell me down the border. Uh, I will pass. Very good. <laughs> this, this reminds me that that joke of the tiger. You know that one? When the tiger is sharpening his claws and then the 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 elephant passed by and said, hey tiger, what are you doing? The tiger said, I'm sharpening the claw, my claws. I will challenge the lion. And then a bunny passed by and so, hey Mr. Tiger, what are you doing? I'm sharpening my claws. I will challenge the lion. And then the lion passed by and said, hey you, little cat in a striped pyjama, what are you doing? <laughs> the tiger said, oh, I, I'm just one to have beautiful nails. <laughs> so I think I will be like the tiger now when I'm in the border. And yeah, I have now the COVID test. But if they tell me, what about that bow? Or what about that uh, drone? You cannot pass. <laughs> please, please, let me pass.
<laughs> Montenegro, Montenegro. We are here. I was there like a lion. And then, I, oi, 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 oi. Oh, the dog. I hope I don't. Okay. Good. Good. He just checked. He just checked the COVID test. He he, he reminds me. I mean, he he recall. He didn't forgot me. Of course. It's just today morning I was there. So uh, he just checked the COVID test and said, "You can go." He was not looking friendly though. But anyway, the good thing is done. Montenegro, here he comes. Montenegro is a country that impresses you as soon as you cross the border. This is the canyon of the Piva River. Somehow reminds me Gorges du Tarn in France. However, I didn't enjoy as much as I wanted because I was concerned about something. Do you remember this moment last summer? Certainly you remember because you both had a lot of fun. Remember the owner said, let's see who gets tired first. That day I was thinking, why we don't have a dog? But somehow I forgot about it. But then on the Izguri camp in Bosnia, when I saw Big Betty, I was thinking the same thing again. You see, there she is, waiting for me to go out. I'm prisoner at home, she's, she's my guardian. You see, now when I go out, you will see immediately she comes. Oh, you see, he blocks me, and I, and now she claims, and I need to look what she does in my hand. Now she have to, and and she don't let me walk. And you see, look, look what she does to my hands. <laughs> For me too. You see, that's a real yoga. Was loose. Was loose, big Betty. Look at look at this claw. Look at this. Look at this. Whatever you said, the foot or I said the claws. It's enormous, big Betty. Big Betty just want me to scratch her. Yesterday she had me block, and she even bite me gently when I stop scratching her. She was getting in my in my way, but she's so big. She's a kangal. Turkish Kangal mixture with something. Maybe she's just young. Oh my God, I saw her father. <laughs> He's even tight because it's very aggressive and big. And here's Big Betty, Big Betty, Big Betty. I don't know what's her name, <laughs> but there she is. You see? And now she's like, okay. <laughs> see, she looked at me like, where are you going? Come back and, and be nice with me. Sleep, Big Betty, sleep. Good. You see, we speak different languages, but she understands. And so I made my decision. You love dogs, Nadine loves dogs. I thought to adopt Big Betty, but then I realized she's not a dog. She's a cow. On my way to cross the border with Montenegro, in one of the camps next to the Drina River, where people go to do rafting, I saw Alba. I talked to the owner and she allowed me to adopt her. But she was so scared. I was mad. She's finding her own way out. Oh, don't be scared. Come here. She walked from the copilot seat all over. She's scared. Oh my god. Imagine living there, happy with the brothers, and then 
out of the sudden you take it into your car, you drive a couple of hours, she was petrified. So I thought I will drive directly to Dormitur and there in the nature I have enough time to build our relationship. Three days here, I was enjoying a lot, a lot. <laughs> Beautiful landscape, off-road, quiet, that fog all day long and rainy. It was nice, it was nice. I was enjoying, I was sitting here, having my view. But everything's starting to get wet now and smelly because our little dog. And um so I decided to stay one day more because today is going to be sunny. Yeah, sunny, but minus four at night and I think probably just five during the day. The coldest day I have had on my tent. I'm freezing, I'm freezing, I'm freezing. Shit. We need to go down. It's too too the altitude is too much and it's it's too cold. I don't remember last time I was that cold. Well I remember but this one was cold. It was time for a little bit of trekking. Go on the up of these hills, look at this beautiful thing with this landscape. But today was just a test. Tomorrow Tomorrow I will go to the highest mountains, <laughs> to the highest around. Well, let's see, see how it goes. But for sure, Montenegro, the Durmitor, Durmitor National Park. I think it's also UNESCO protected and something. Boy, amazing! It's really nice really nice but I need to go back because um, Alma is alone so I need to check that she's there continue tomorrow now I think we are almost there she's sitting outside she's coming back when I call her not running away a little bit wet because she was playing outside but let's see you see, we still have two meters distance. 
two meters distance, but she followed me um, all in my walk, and she was following me close, very close at some point. But mm, she preferred to get some distance when we are uh, standing still. But we are improving, that's for sure. Beautiful dormitory, beautiful. I said the same of every location. <laughs> but yeah, and I was there. One thing I knew, and that was that I didn't want to freeze my ass for the next three days. So I wanted to stay around. I saw the beautiful town, the houses. Nice. And I was tempted to stay somewhere here. For sure it would be better than to be in the mountains up there. But still, when I heard that message from, from Tim, and he mentioned 25 degrees and the coast, that convinced me. I said, hey, look, beautiful day for driving. Three hours to make it. So three hours driving is in this beautiful country. Spectacular. Let's go there. And I'm on my way now. And you know what I have realized? That I'm, I'm driving without the safety belt. Every time I go to a place, I do what they do. <laughs> but this one is not a good thing to do. So let me wear it. I have a, I have a son waiting for me when I finish my, my trip. So in case of a nasty accident, I will try to survive. On top of that, we have the, the nice local music to enjoy. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 